So this is a review of the um, electric portable pipe threader uh, purchased from Harbor Freight. It's uh, branded as uh, Central Machinery, and uh, I think I paid uh, close to 200 bucks for it. Um, but uh, I think you can pay anywhere from 150 to 400 for this same pieces of equipment. And uh, I was a little bit nervous about buying this because, um, you know, it's pretty cheap and uh, there's a lot of uh, stresses involved and um, kind of the reviews aren't great. Um, but for that price, I figured I would give it a try. Okay. Okay, the dies just pop in pretty easily. Um, I wasn't sure whether the fl flange was supposed to be flush mounted against the body or um, with that slight gap. It, it didn't seem to want to stay completely flush mounted so I decided that um, the gap was the way to go and didn't seem to have any problems with that. So. Um, this will be actually the second, I'm a complete amateur at this, this will be the second uh, pipe I have threaded ever. Um, the first one went pretty well so I figured I could go live on this video with the second one. Um, so obviously um, we are now going to set up the, the clamp. So this thing, well I guess it's called the clamp, it's not, this is not for clamping the, the pipe, it's not, this is not for making maintaining zero rotation in the pipe. This is actually for clamping the tool to stop the tool from rotating when it's under load. So it's not, this is not designed to hold the pipe. That must be done using some other method. I've just got it in this um, medium to light duty bench vise. And then I'm going to attach the um, this clamp, the I'll call it the equipment clamp moderately tight onto that pipe um, so that the uh, bar is flush with my um, end of the pipe that I want to cut. And then notice the orientation of that, it's uh, just um, a little bit uh, you know, 20, 25 degrees off the, off the horizontal there. And so this, this lines up into the, uh, into the hole in the handle. That. Okay, now I'm going to put plenty of lube on here. I'm going to take this off real quick. Lube that up real good. Plenty of lube on there. Put that back on. And then put a little bit more on there. On the safe side. Uh, switch to forward, which is to the right, uh, right hand position on the uh, switch. And then you just just get into it. I'm applying a slight amount of pressure. Um, It's really well looped. I do not feel the need to, even though I've never done this before, intuitively I do not feel the need to have to back off, so I'm not going to. Uh, I don't know what the instructions say, but um, in my mind it doesn't look like it's necessary, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, carrying on here. about all I need to do on that. So I'm going to stick it in reverse.
Obviously you need to clean that die out real good before using it again. I usually just pick the pieces out by hand and then spray it with a, um, a spray um, lube such as that product just to, just to get rid of all the little bits and pieces. Let's see uh, what that looks like now. I'm very pleased with that. I'm very pleased. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an expert, but uh, I am very happy with that. In my mind, that was uh, money well spent. And there's been some people commenting on um, damage to the pipe with the clamp. Um, really, uh, not a big problem, I don't think. Not a big problem. So that one gets two thumbs up. Yeah, and here's a here's a close up of the finished uh, thread. So it's it's uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, but I'm not using this stuff for gas or pressurized liquids or anything like that. I just use it for mechanical um, purposes. So I'm not uh, doing this to any exacting standards. I'm just moving along the traversing along the pipe. There, no obvious damage uh, from the clamp. But um, yeah, I'm I'm. Uh, Pretty pleased with that.